My name is Muhammad Izzat Misaruddin, so I'm the director for this project, The Playmaker. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Ashari Arifin. I'm the cinematographer for The Playmaker. We uh, shoot the project with the Black Magic Camera, which is a Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. For this uh, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, since uh, you know, as we can see, uh, the camera use uh, MFT lens mount. But if you want to shoot with this camera with the different uh, lenses, you have to put uh, you know adapter. For example, MFT to PL or MFT to EF, you will never have a problem in terms of uh, changing lens. You just need to get the right adapter. It's really rare to see people shoot with the MFT lens, so it's quite hard for me to search around rental house to get the meta bones. You have to like maybe buy yourself from an online shop like Cans, for example. We we managed to get the lens, uh, Lumic lens, which is is a. Uh, MFT mount, so we just use straight away. I'm trying to get a lot of movement shots in the story, so it gives like a very intense kind of scene. So uh, it's easier for me to mix and match again the cuts for the editing part. It helps a lot because you know we have the slider shot. So uh, for this uh, project, you know we can gimbal this camera on the tripod on a slider, and also for the gimbal, for example, if you have a uh, Ronin and you can just mount it because it's very light uh, with camera. Uh, for this camera, uh, as you see, uh, it has like a small monitor over here. But for the video shoot, you better have like, uh, you know, uh, another additional monitor. Uh, so last time we used uh, Blackmagic uh, Video Assist monitor. So uh, you can mount the HDMI, micro HDMI from here and direct to the monitor. While we're shooting, I think um, it's pretty easy for the DP to just uh, see the shot from straight from the camera but I think I will need a monitor like a video assist uh, to just uh, see and check the frame so probably it's gonna be much, much more easier for me to just check the frame from my monitor Me, I try to achieve like the best quality out of it so we try RAW but by shooting RAW we can't really have much time to shoot RAW because it takes a lot of space Also, we need like a bigger compartment or bigger storage so it's gonna be hard to just transfer the file because it's gonna be a huge file as well we, we don't really have much time during the shoot so we really need to have like you know bigger space so that we can just keep shooting even though we have a you know additional uh, memory card but still i mean it always takes time and we keep changing the card so uh, last time we shoot with the uh, format ProRes HQ, hq which is the second uh, good format from the yep. black magic pocket so uh, we still managed to get the look that we yep. want. You still can push more uh, on post. Okay, uh, for this camera, again, it has a different uh, frame rate, uh, frame per second. Mm -hmm. So it start with the 23 frame per second. It can go up to 30, 30 frame, frame per second. Uh, 30 frame per second. It's not uh, really for the high sp uh, for the high speed shoot camera. Since that, uh, we plan to put the project at the online so that uh, we just shoot with the 25 uh, frame per second. And when it comes for the slow mo and the running high speed, we go with the Black Magic Micro because it has the capability to shoot until uh, 60 frames per second. So uh, for this uh, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, uh, you actually use the lithium battery. So uh, if you want to shoot uh, like longer time, you need to put additional battery, which is a V mount battery. You can power up with the 12 volt uh, power over here. But then last time from the shoot, we actually uh, didn't manage to get the 12 volt cable, so we just use the direct battery, which is it actually can be last around uh, less than 30 minutes. Mm. We have some difficulties with the battery, so it's like kind of sometimes it's just shut it shut off, like yes, out of yes. nowhere. So we managed to find a way, right, uh, yes. by using the power cable straight away. So if you're a guest, you're shooting indoor, so it's easier because you can just plug in the power, plug straight away to the camera, and you can just uh, shoot non-stop. And you really need the extra battery if you guys shoot outdoor. Uh, so last time we have like uh, extra five extra battery, but still it's actually not, not enough, enough yeah. because the battery it gonna finish really fast. It's just like around less than twenty or thirty minutes. So the camera drains the battery really really fast. Maybe because we shoot yeah. in the hot sun, so it's Probably, actually yeah. you know um, drain the batteries pretty fast. True. So uh, again. If you really want to shoot with this camera, please get the additional battery V-mount at least or else uh, 
you guys gonna have like hard time to keep changing battery. You guys gonna waste a lot of time on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. For this uh, camera, uh, you actually can record the sound together. Uh, if you j if you wanna shoot like you know documentary, you can just have like uh, audio jack over here and put the whatever boom or small mic over here. And you also can put on the sanizer and then you can have like you know uh, wireless audio recording as well. You can just move around like that. But then last time we didn't shoot uh, audio directly yep. because we have our sound recording standby on set. But again, you still can uh, record a direct audio from the camera. So uh, if you shoot like documentary, you, you guys still can use this kind of camera. It just like uh, we just prefer to record audio and camera visuals separately. Hi, my name is Afri Akmal. Uh, my name is Hazim. And we are the second unit for the chemical. We are handling a micro cinema camera. Since this project is about football and it has a lot of action scenes, we chose to go with uh, the micro cinema camera. The reason being is that it's light, it's easy to use, and the capabilities to shoot full HD in 60 frames per second. Okay, the advantage we use in the camera is very light, and it's easy to use Ronin M and it's really easy to balance it. Uh, so for this project, we chose to use the Lumix 70 to 140mm lens. Um, reason, because a lot of the shot is a moving shot, uh, we need a tight shot, um, so we can be further away from the action and just follow the action and let the actors have more space uh, to play around with. Like any other Blackmagic camera, um, Although this is MFT mount, uh, you can always get adapter for it. Uh, there's uh, MFT to PL or M MFT to EF mounts, uh, so you can use uh, this camera with uh, cinema lens as well. Uh, this camera can has a capability to shoot uh, RAW or ProRes. We chose uh, ProRes HQ because of the storage. Uh, it writes faster and we can shoot longer since uh, we have a smaller file size. Uh, micro cinema camera use the SD card. Uh, I think it's great for independent filmmakers like us because um, SD card is very affordable and it's easily accessible as well. And basically we use this camera for the action scenes which is can record up to 60 frames per second so that we can stabilize it in post later. For powering option, you can use uh, Sony LP batteries uh, which usually last about one hour and a half. Um, and it also can use uh, 12 volt DC uh, directly with the expansion port that is provided. And that one you can just directly connect that to the V mount and it can last half a day. Uh, on this project, uh, the sound we, sh we chose to record it separately. Uh, the reason being is because uh, this camera is mainly for action and it's always on yes, the Ronin. This camera can also shoot uh, internal recorder, uh, it has 3.5mm jack. In conclusion, I feel that this camera is very good for action scenes, especially since it's, um, of course, it's very light, it's very modular. The balancing on Ronin um, is very fast, since it's very light, it's easy to balance, it doesn't consume a lot of battery power from the Ronin. Uh, it makes our shoot uh, smoother, faster, we don't waste time, and we got every shot that we need.